Hi, my name is Bill Miller. I live in Leesburg, Florida, USA. I am a C-1-2 ventilator dependent quadriplegic, much like the late Christopher Reeve. I was injured in August of 1997. Uh, at the time of recording this video, which is April 3rd, 2012, uh, that's a little more than 14 and a half years ago. I am currently 35 years old. Uh, the purpose of this video is to shed some light on life as a high-level quadriplegic. Because when I was injured more than 14 and a half years ago, um, there wasn't much information about what life would be like or what is possible and things like that. So since I've been fortunate and blessed in a number of ways to have accomplished quite a bit since my injury, I'm going to share some of that stuff. Um, so despite the fact that I'm paralyzed from my neck down and ventilator dependent, um, I've been able to do some things. I think you can see the, uh, the ventilator hose coming down from my neck there. And as far as my movement goes, this I can move my head pretty well. I can kind of shrug my shoulders here like this, using my neck muscles. And that, like if the vent were to come off, that allows me to take in air, which is a, a nice safety net to have because I can breathe for more than four and a half hours during that. Um, but just some of the achievements that I've been able to make since coming home from rehab. I did my rehab at the Shepherd Center in 1997. I came home in November of that year. And um, the first one of the first things I did is I started lear learning how to use a voice operated computer. And uh, I had a first, my first job <clears throat> was doing movie reviews, which I did for the our local newspaper, the Daily Commercial. I did that for more than two and a half years, and I thoroughly enjoyed that, but I stopped doing that because I had other things that I wanted to do. Um, I got involved doing speaking engagements locally. Um, most of the time I give PowerPoint presentations, and my favorite topics to cover are having healthy perspectives and overcoming challenges. When I was injured and in rehab and things like that, I uh, learned to talk again, I had to learn to be able to eat again, I had to learn to develop some ability to breathe also, and there's a, quite a few major challenges that I was uh, very fortunate and blessed to be able to overcome. Um, I also started doing web design, I've done 12 different websites, 8 of which are current. You can check out my personal website, which is lookmomnohands.net, that's lookmomnohands.net. Um, something else that I was able to do is we recognize the need for uh, recreation and sport for people with wheelchairs and I am actually credited with co-inventing a wheelchair bowling device called the ICANN Bowler. Uh, ICANN comes from a Greek word Ikenos, which means empower. And we wanted to be able to empower as many wheelchair users as possible to be able to bowl and the ICANN Bowler can go on pretty much any wheelchair on the market. Um, Mostly power wheelchair users are the ones that are particularly interested in, in bowling. Um, it's really cool, it's a lot of fun, and it can be empowering. We learned that, um, we learned that, <clears throat> excuse me, when people have success with bowling, it can give them confidence, it can carry over into other aspects of their life. So that was uh, kind of an added side effect or an added bonus that we, we uh, recognized. And, therapeutic recreation experts have verified this. You can go to wheelchairbowlingrecords.com. You might not believe this, but my record is actually 255, which is the overall world record for dynamic style wheelchair bowling. Um, but it's not, well, it's not all fun and games. I've also been busy. I went back to school. Um, I always wanted to graduate from the University of Florida, and after my injury, see, I was injured at the time. I was a University of Florida student, and I wanted to go back and finish there, but I had to switch majors from math to business, and I did so, and I uh, was able to complete the business program online with a 4.0 GPA, which one of the reasons that I wanted to achieve a 4.0 is so that I could uh, demonstrate that I could be highly effective despite being paralyzed from the neck down. So and I managed to do that and I rolled across the graduation stage on August 9th of 2008. Um, and now I'm currently in graduate school at Western Carolina University. They have a master's in entrepreneurship program that I'm in and thoroughly enjoying, excuse me, I'm thoroughly enjoying and learning a lot. Um, one of the reasons that I'm able to be productive is I spend a lot of time in my chair, for one. I spend roughly 13 to 16 hours per day, and I'm 
the reason I can do that without having too many issues like pressure sores or anything like that is because I do weight shifts regularly. I just, if you see these straws here in front of my face. That shows you how I can tilt back. Now I actually tilt all the way back to do a full weight shift, but that's just a quick little demo for the sake of this video. Um, all these things are possible thanks to, to God's help and good caregivers, and uh, a lot of it is being able to use a voice operated computer. Um, as a high level quadriplegic or somebody who uses a power wheelchair user, uh, excuse me, uses a power wheelchair, you might think that love is not possible, but I'm very happy to say that I recently got engaged to a wonderful, beautiful young woman, and we are planning a life together. And I have a blog, um, powerwheelchairusers.wordpress.com is my blog, and there's actually an entry on there about me getting engaged to Lisa, and uh, you can actually see some pictures of our engagement. So, altogether, I'm extremely blessed and I'm extremely grateful to God. I just want to share that life can still be good despite high level paralysis and even requiring a ventilator 24 7. I have a sign on my wall that says, It is what it is, but it will be what you make it. And life can still be good if you choose to pursue that route. Thank you and God bless.